Hello everyone and welcome to TLC 2020. Today I'm presenting using HTML in creating better visuals. I'm Tony Scarlatti. Here's my email address, tony.scarlatti at faculty.ashford.edu. The agenda for today is, who am I? Creating a student support center announcement. First, we'll look at what the Student Support Center is, what it looks like. Then we'll talk about what the end result looks like. This will be after the edits and announcement has been created. We'll start with the basic announcement. Then we're going to do some changes to make it Times New Roman 12-point font. We're going to add a visual. We're going to have a fancy signature. And then we're going to wrap it up. Let's start with who am I? I started teaching at Ashford in January of 2009. I've taught 124 classes and continuing to teach, so that's an ongoing number. I believe in continuous improvement, improving my teaching, finding ways to reduce time, and increase teaching effectiveness. In 2016, I presented the, the TLC Managing Your Online Classroom using Microsoft Excel. I had an Excel spreadsheet I made, which covers all five weeks, and it shows you a way of making sure that you've covered each student during those five weeks in the announcements. In 2017, I presented improving turnitin wait times with waypoint grading. And that's no longer applicable since now you can click on a single button and have turnitin create reports for all your students at once. In 2018, I presented a very lengthy tips and shortcuts in managing the Canvas classroom, which is very useful for many students, especially ones that are just starting out. And it was announced to students, or I should say faculty, in uh, showing what you could do to improve your Canvas managing skills. I was a member of the Ashford student through several elections, the last three, and now that's been disbanded in, and now there's a faculty council in its place. I applied, but I was not accepted. First, let's look at the Student Support Center. If you go to the left of the classroom, Student Support Center is here. And basically, it's got these six windows. When you hold your cursor over a window, it has a lot of good information, and when you click on this, it goes to more detail, which I'll show a little later. Actually, I'll show you now. Time management. Time management should have a video here. For some reason, I'm getting a 404 not found error. So that needs to be fixed, not by me, but by Ashford. If you click on tips and strategies, there's a video. And there's some other clicks that you can do. So that's to give you an idea of the classroom. Or I should say what the Student Support Center looks like. Now we're going to look at the end result. The end result is what you'll be creating. Here's the announcement, Student Support Center. I say hello again, students, because it's not my first announcement. It's one of several. There is a link that was added to all classrooms under home all the way down, Student Support Center. This, that displays the following six panels after clicking on the link. And then since you couldn't click on these to see the different parts of the squares, I go into text, put in a cursor over each of the six panels, open up some menus with useful information. For example, hovering over school life balance displays the following. 
hub, time management, managing stress, motivation, work-life balance, growth mindset. Clicking on time management, for example, which I showed, goes to new page containing two tabs, time management tips and strategies with an interactive video under time management tab that will help you identify how you approach scheduling and managing your time when balancing multiple responsibilities. It will also suggest strategies that can help you maximize your time on task as you incorporate school into your life schedule. Clicking on tips and strategies tab will give access to a video a week in the life of an Ashford student. Click on the link and watch a very useful two minute video about the SCC Student Support Center. So this link, link is, a, is a, something you can click on and I'll show you how to do all of this in this video. Go to Student Support Center and poke around, you'll be glad you did. If you have any questions, please send an inbox message. And then I've signed my name in fancy script. Okay, so that's the basic end result. First, we're going to start with the basic announcement. So let's go here and do a new announcement. It's going to be Student Support Center. And then we're going to start out with hello again, students. Notice it's, it's just in a 10 point script and it's, uh, I believe it's Arial. But what we're going to do is change that by going to the HTML editor. And I've got another attachment that you'll have which basically shows you the different fonts I use. The first thing I'll do is use this, just copy and paste after the P. And then you should have a closing span. In other words, left arrow slash span and then uh, right arrow, and I'll show you what that looks like. Now this is Times New Roman 12 font, and you see that the HTML adder added the end of the span. See, you see the beginning, it's got a paragraph mark, left arrow, P, right arrow, and then it ends it with left arrow slash P, right arrow. So you since I started with a span here, I've got an end span there. Okay. Next thing we're going to do is add the rest of the text that I created. There is a link that was added, blah, 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 blah. Copy, paste. Now you noticed everything is still 10 point aerial. So what we need to do is everything that has a P after it, we're going to put that same font, that same script in. Whoops, I didn't mean to do that. Let me take out what I just did. down to my name. Okay. Now what I'll do is put in the HTML code I just showed you above about the font family times new Roman 12 point. I'm going to put that everywhere there's a left arrow P, right arrow. Control V. Each paragraph has to be, has to have that. Control V. And 
And this one, you just need one for all of them. Clicking on time management. Click on this link. Click on this. There. Now, you see everything is in time new time Times New Roman twelve point. I don't have the fancy name yet. I'll show you how to do that later. And we want to put this in bullets. We highlight that. We say bullet list, but everything's not bulleted. So what you need to do, you need to have a carriage return after each of these. So I just put a carriage return after all of them. Backspace, enter. Backspace, enter. Backspace, enter. Now, if you want to push these out even more, as I had in my example, you'd hide like this and use the increase indent. And now it's got a second level heading. If you like the first level heading, you can just leave it. I kind of like the first level better. Okay, next. Actually, we want to put in the visual. So there's the basic announcement. We changed it to Times New Roman 12 point. Now the visual. We're going to go back to the Student Success Center. That's about a good capture, screen capture. I'm going to use the old Microsoft screen capture tool. And what I noticed is if I highlight this and then click on new, let me see if that worked. No, it didn't work. I got to try it over again. Cancel this. I'm going to go down a little bit. Okay. What I'm trying to do is is make that highlighted and stay highlighted. And there we go. Okay, so I'm gonna left click here, go down, and there we go, we've captured it. I wanna save it. To Student Success JPEG. I'll call it a one since it's different than the one I have. Okay, we're done with that. Now I want to go to Files. And course picks. I mean, you can put it wherever you want. And then you're going to upload it. Student success one. And it just uploaded it here. So there you go. Okay, so now we go back to our announcement. And what we're going to do is add an embed an image. We're going to use Canvas because that's the quickest and easiest way to do it. 
course files. Let's see, course files, my files. There we go, student success one. So once you've highlighted that, if it doesn't show the image, it'll show this in its place. And let's see, don't need to dec have a decorative image. Dimensions, we'll keep it like that. Update. So there you go. We just entered the picture. One thing I noticed, it didn't have those highlighted images I had selected. But nevertheless, We need to move this, cut, and we're gonna add it after our image. There we go, control V. And there's all that information we had. Okay. Now the fancy signature. What I have is Font family will be script MT bold. And we're going to use 14 point font, 14 point font. So I'm going to copy that. I'm going to go back to our student success center. And I'm going to change right after the P in front of my name, control V, and now it's gonna be script empty bold. And there you go. Now, uh, the student success center, this was going to be a link. So I'm highlighting that. I'm going to link to URL, and now I'm going to get the URL from my sheet, which is this. Copy it all. Paste it. And there you go. That's now a link when you click on it. Okay. So that's it. Thank you for watching. And if you want to contact me for any questions, there's my email address, tony.scarlotti at faculty.edu.